Hello everybody, in this Rhino Grasshopper video demo, I would like to talk about how we can make a selection from two options. Okay, let's start. Let's use what we have on screen for illustration purpose. Basically, in this scenario, what I want to do is to either place this sphere or this cone onto all the planes. Okay, and to make a selection of either one, we can use the sets, pick and choose component to help us with the task. Okay. And I'm going to do a demonstration now. Okay, you can see that the pick and choose have three inputs the pattern, the stream zero, and stream one. Okay, currently the definition has been connected to the spheres. Okay, you can see the sphere is connected to the, the geometry input as well as the area that is uh, required for us to place the selected object onto the planes. Okay, now in order to enable me to be able to toggle between selecting either one of these, what I'm going to do is to plug the cone and the sphere to stream 0 and 1 respectively. So I'm going to plug these here and plug these here, okay? And then you notice that initially the sphere has uh, two out output to the area and the geometry. So we're going to reconnect this as well. So the result is going to go to the geometry. And then the result will go to this geometry input as well. Okay. Now to enable the toggling of the selections, we can go to params and put a boolean toggle and plug it to the pattern input of the pick and choose. Okay. So I'm going to do it now. And you can see that by toggling the true and false, I'm able to select either one of these to be placed on the planes. Okay. So this is one scenario where we can use this uh, pick and choose to select an option from two. Okay. However, this is um, not only limited to the selection of objects. We can also use this uh, pick and choose to toggle between processes. Okay. For example, you can see over here, what I want was for the resultant plane to be flipped using a flip plane. Okay. And this enable me to orient the placement of the selected object. What I can do is also to put the pick and choose over here and decide whether I want to do a flip plane or not. Okay, so I want to show you uh, this example. Okay, so I'm going to the sets, pick and choose again. And then for maybe the flip plane process I want to connect to it as the stream one and the previously unflipped one the previously unflipped process which is from here I can connect it as a stream zero and the result we can again re reconnect this to the source and again we can put the, the toggle here Boolean toggle and you can see that by clicking and toggling the Boolean toggle we are able to flip the orientation of the selected object and with that I come to the end of this demo see you bye